Hello everyone. So now we will draw a few diagrams on the design software. Whatever we were designing on the paper, now we can draw the same on the softwares. There are many softwares. I have discussed everything in the theoretical session. Like ZWCAD, AutoCAD, CATIA, ProE, SOLIDWORKS, all those are the designing software and having few advanced versions or advanced features. But the basic command or basic sequence of commands will be the same so we have to focus on the command prompt window this is this is your command prompt window we have to focus here what the question is asking we just have to answer them now let's see the first is your line command in the draw toolbar in the line command we have three methods absolute relative and polar now let's discuss about the absolute method so I have taken one example, an easy one, then we will go for the complex part. So it is a rectangle which we need to draw in the software and rectangle is having 100 length and 60 width. I have already told you, first we have to go for the setting of limits. So you have to type limits. There is no such uh, condition like small letter or capital letter, both are good. Uh, type limits with S. Do not write limit only limits. Press enter. Now it is asking me the lower left corner that must be 0 comma 0 the size of drawing area which we want to select as per the design it's required 100 by 60 size of the drawing so we will go for 150 little bigger length and 100 little bigger width after setting we have to go for z z for zoom e e for extent z enter e enter now you cannot see any difference in the drawing area by doing this step but actually at the back end that area is now brought in front of us whatever we design it will get designed in the selected area only so this you have to do before drawing any diagram so let's start with the line command now first i have to tell to the compiler that i want to use the line command so i press right type line enter or if you press l enter both are same l enter or line it will understand like you want to use the line command now i press line enter now it is saying start of the line so for easy calculation of coordinates i'm taking 0 0 origin as the start now it is asking me the next point so it is getting started with the origin and now it is in the line command and it is asking me the next point so as per my calculation its length is 100 so value of x will be 100 and value of y will be 0 now see he has drawn the line of length 100 now it is in the same command line command until we press escape it will remain in the same line command it will continuously ask me the next 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 point now i have to go for the next point so next point coordinates i have already calculated the next point will be 100 in x and 60 in y now after that the next point it is again 0 in x 60 in y after that again at the origin 0 comma 0 we can now it is still in the line command until you press escape now i'm pressing escape now see it come out from the line command now i can give the another command what uh, the area we want to draw so this is your line command using absolute coordinate you are giving the absolute values of x and y with respect to the origin now if i press now z enter e enter whatever you have drawn it will come in front of me z enter e enter c now we will draw the same diagram what we have drawn with the absolute method now we will draw the same with relative method i told you in theoretical session relative means we have to tell to the compiler that with respect to the previous point how much we are moving in x direction or in y direction so the better way is that take the previous point as origin assume assume the previous point as origin and with respect to origin or the last point or the previous point how much you are moving that is the relative method and we will tell to the compiler with the symbol of at the rate x comma y that we are using the relative method let's see now same we have to draw the rectangle of this now first i'll set the limits lower left corner that is same 0 comma 0 upper right corner we can say 150 comma 100 now z enter e enter now i'll go for the line command means l enter now it is saying start of the line so this is 0 comma 0 now the next point i'm saying with the relative method so at the rate x 100 y 
zero we are not going upward so it is zero we are going right side so it is positive 100 see it has drawn now i'll go for the next point at the rate how much i want to move in x direction zero how much i want to move in the y direction 60 so at the rate 0 comma 60 again i have to come back so at the rate how much i want to move in x direction that is minus 100 because i want to go in left side that is minus right side positive upward positive downward negative so this symbol we have to use so this is minus 100 comma y direction movement zero after that the next point at the rate x movement zero y movement minus 60 because we want to close this rectangle to come down minus 60 so see it has drawn now i say z enter e enter this is the diagram what we have drawn now we will draw the same diagram rectangle 60 by 100 using polar map all these steps are same only the difference is the syntax with which we tell to the compiler we are using the polar method that is at the rate length less than angle okay so uh, first i set the limits and uh, lower left corner is 0 comma 0 upper right corner i'll take the same because size of rectangle is same 150 by 100 after setting this z enter e enter to zoom and extend now i'll go for the line command that is what l enter now it is saying start of line 0 comma 0 at the rate length how much length is there 100 less than angle how much angle remember that right side 0 upward 90 left side 180 downward 270 so the angle calculation is anti-clockwise so 100 less than 0 this is done after that at the rate now upward 60 length angle 90 done now left side at the rate length 100 angle 180 okay similarly at the rate 60 downward and angle 270 so this is done now see the same rectangle we have drawn using polar method I zoom this this is all about the line command using absolute relative and polar you can mix the command also when the question is there like specifically you have to use polar or relative or absolute then we have to use these commands only but in the main diagram when the complex diagram is there it totally depends the value which we are having if it is easy to use polar method we can go for polar otherwise absolute and relative options are already available so it totally depends on the values which are available which method you will prefer now we will see the circle command after line command so there are various ways to draw the circle when i type circle in the command prompt window see it is asking me the method to choose like i can draw the circle with two point method three point method ttr arc multiple center of the circle so i already told you in the theoretical session that what are these types and where to use which method now i am going to discuss about the radius method or the center of the circle method for this method we need center coordinates for the circle and the radius value now first i want to tell to the compiler that i want to use the center of the circle method so for that i type radius so it understand that okay you want to use the radius method that is center radius method now it is asking me center of the circle let's say i am giving center of the circle coordinates value of x and y 0 comma 0 press enter now it is asking me diameter or radius if you want to give the value of diameter type diameter enter now it is taking the value diameter but if you want to choose the radius then you cannot directly give the value first select the option like okay i'll show you with the radius also let's say and here i have to build, fill the value of diameter that is why i cannot change diameter to radius so the value is 50 let's say press enter now what he has done it the same circle has been drawn with 50 diameter now similarly i'll show you one more example when i have to draw the circle i press circle command then center of the circle so i press radius because i want to use the radius method that is the center radius now it is asking me center of the circle 0 comma 0 now i want to 
change from diameter to radius so here i have to tell him that i want to enter the value of radius last time i have entered the value of diameter now i want to enter the value of radius so i change from diameter to radius so i type radius now it is asking me the value of radius so now see it has drawn so you can shift from radius to diameter diameter to radius before giving the value so wherever we want to draw the circle we can draw this this is the most commonly used method that is the center radius method we will have the other methods i'll give you the demo of others also 